Um, Angela's got a notice to give. Uh, Les is still collecting money for the Easter Lilies, if anybody wishes to put any money. And we've got pop in tomorrow morning and morning prayers at 9.15. And later in the month, you've got the annual general meeting here on the 21st of March at 7pm in the church hall. Um, I don't think there's anything else got to say. Um, we're going to start collecting things for the shoe boxes early this year. So for March and April, we're focusing on toiletries and things like that for the boxes. So soap, toothbrushes, um, face cloths, combs, hairbrushes, things like that. And there's going to be a box at the back of church if people want to put things in there. And there'll also be a box in popping. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Angela. That was a nice hint, wasn't it? Something different. Lovely. So we're all on the yellow sheet. So there we go. Jesus promised that he is present whenever people meet in his name. So let us greet one another as members of God's family. The Lord is here. Lift up your hearts and lift them to the Lord. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanks, to bring before him the needs of the world, to ask his forgiveness of our sins, and to seek his grace, and through his Son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Amen. O Lord, our Lord, your greatness is seen in all the world. Your praise reaches up to the heavens. Before the mountains were made, or before you had even formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. The Lord our God is worthy to receive glory and honour and power, for he has created and redeemed us. And our second hymn is, uh, Father, I place into your hands. Father, I place into your hands the things that I can do. Father, I place into your hands the times that I've been through. Father, Thank you. 
disciples remember our own faults and failings. Say together, Heavenly Father, we are very sorry for all the things we have done, said, and thought that have been wrong. We are sorry that we have thought of ourselves and not of others. We are sorry that we have done what we wanted instead of what you wanted us to do. We ask you to forgive us and to help us to be the people you would like us to be. We ask this for Jesus Christ's sake. May Almighty God forgive us, help us to follow Jesus' way of life, and guide us with his Holy Spirit. Now, call it for today, for Sunday Lent. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sin which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Have our first reader. <laughs> the first reading this morning is Ephesians chapter two, verses one to ten. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you once walked following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But. God being rich in mercy, because of the great love of which he showed to us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. We found raised up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Jesus Christ. So that in the coming ages, he may show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. This is the word of the Lord. And be to God. And Graham is going to read the gospel for us. This reading is taken from the Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 14 to 21. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment 
that the light has come into the world and people loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For all who do evil hate the light and do not come to the light so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light so that it may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. going to lead us through uh, our short talk on the Taviath later. So, Mothering Sunday is always celebrated on the fourth Sunday of Lent. It's traditional that we hand out daffodils to our mothers. Have we got some flowers? Yes? We've got some posies? Oh good. Down, down there. Oh right. Oh it's all behind me. Oh no it isn't. Oh yes, there they are, yes, right. For later. For later. Good. We should uh, think about today as Mothering Sunday and not Mother's Day. The reason and purpose of Mothering Sunday has been lost to the commercialism of Mother's Day. To think today as Mother's Day creates a lot of issues for a lot of people. It ideally is Idealises, should I idealise? Oh, I can't never get that right. What it means to be a mother, which is not helpful. Some cannot reach this ideal. For whatever reason, and can be hurt by the whole issue and celebrations of the day. Mothering Sunday should be a day when we thank, sorry, we think about and celebrate the values of what it means to mother. Mothering is something we all do, whether man or woman, to some degree or another. Mothering includes many values, nurturing, nourishing, guiding, protecting, caring, loving, carrying, comforting, supporting, and many more. These are the values that we all can represent. Oh, sorry, present and embody in our behaviour to others. We are all capable of mothering. The idea of mothering brings us back to what we seem to be the what seems to be the origin of Mothering Sunday. It is nothing to do about mothers at all. It is a day when people would go back to the church that they thought as their mother church. It might have been their local parish church or their cathedral of their, of their diocese. We would return to thank, praise and worship God for his wonderful creation of our world, for giving his son, Jesus Christ, whose hands have taught and guided us through generations of how we should live our lives, mothering being one aspect. So there we are. So Angela's got to come down now and carry on. But have you all got a flag? Can you all wave them so we all know we've got a flag? Just before she starts, just one thing. Um, I don't suppose there's anybody in this church which it is their mother, mother's church, is it? Nobody. Everybody's from the way, aren't we? Yeah. Graham, you're from where? When was your? Oh. Right. So, and we go through, I don't think there's, no, there isn't anybody, is it, from, from Hibblesow at all? No. So there we are. Right, anyway, okay, I'm going to leave it with you, my daughter. I'll just take this away. I've got my flag, my flag. 
<clears throat> right, so I'm going to read some things out about Mother in, Mother's Day. Um, I couldn't find anything else anywhere else that you celebrates Mother in Sunday, but I found out lots of facts about other countries. Now, whenever I read, say, the word Mother's Day, you're going to repeat, we're, you're going to say, we don't know, okay? And then when I say your country, you've got to wave your flag, okay? I'll give it a go anyway and see how it goes. What is Mother's Day? We don't know. Mother's Day we don't know. is a time when people show women who care for them how much they help love them. Countries around the world have special days when people celebrate the women that love and care for them. Mother's Day we don't know. in the UK hey. is traditionally known as Mothering Sunday. It is held on the fourth Sunday of Lent each year. Children might give cards, flowers, chocolates or other gifts to their mother or other special women who care for them. How do you celebrate Mother's Day? We don't. Mother's Day? We don't. In Australia? Uh, you're not Australia, you're China. <laughs> who's, who's Australia? <laughs> As in countries such as Canada and the United States, Mother's Day we don't. in Australia is on the second Sunday in May. Australia started celebrating Mother's Day nearly we 100 years don't. ago in 1924. There, was, um, there had been a war, so lots of mothers would have lost their husbands and sons. A lady called Janet Heden asked shops and schools to give presents to, uh, to these women. People liked the idea so much they started doing it each year. Today in Australia, Mother's Day we don't. Is, celebra is the time for families to get together and enjoy celebrating the special women in their lives. Mother's Day we don't. in Mexico is celebrated on the 10th of May and is one of the most important days of the year. Families sometimes hire musical bands to play their loved ones' favourite songs. Lots of the people buy flowers for the special women in their lives. Mother's Day we don't know. in Ethiopia lasts for three days. It is held at the end of the rainy season in autumn. People celebrate not only the women who care for them, but for the earth and the gifts we get from the earth too. Mother's Day we don't know. in Malawi is celebrated on the 15th of October. It's a national holiday, so people have the day off to work at, from work and school. The president of Malawi often makes a speech explaining that how important women and mothers are, and that they are the pillar of society. Mother's Day we don't, we don't. in France is usually celebrated on the last Sunday of May. Mother's Day we don't, we don't. celebrations in France date back to the no, no, Napoleonic times when French Emperor Napoleon dedicated a special day to mothers of large families in 1806. Mother's Day we don't know. in China well done Margaret <laughs> <laughs> is celebrated on the second Sunday of May. In China <laughs> the popular flowers given to the women on this day are carnations and lilies. Mother's Day we don't know. in Poland they're at the back is celebrated on the 26th of May. Every year in Poland. It, it was first celebrated in the Polish city, Krakow, in the early 1900s. Mother's Day, we know. in Brazil, oh, well done, is celebrated on the second Sunday of May. A lot of people in Brazil spend Mother's Day 
We know. With their families. People all over the world celebrate Mother's Day and everything they do for us. So can we all wait up? We're all waving our flags. We don't <laughs> we don't know the flags of the countries do it very well. Australia got muddled up with China and I don't know. <laughs> Thanks Angela. Very good. Very, very good indeed. When are we giving the flowers out, darling? Angela, are we are we going to uh, give the young ladies? Oh, in the next hit, right. Hold it up. So uh, let us stand to declare our faith. Do you believe and trust in God, the Father who made all things? I believe in your God, the Father Almighty, creator. Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed the world? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, and died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand. Father, you will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe and trust in the Holy Spirit who gives life to the people of God? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord is be always with you. And also with you. Let us show our love to one another. Mr. Elwood, 
You're asking too many questions. <laughs> right, our uh, next hymn is Amazing Mothers, and it's on the tune of Amazing Grace. Given 
over so many years. Father, too, we are equally reminded how easily we take your love for granted, failing to thank you for the blessings you shower on us, the care with which you daily surround us, and the joy with which you fill our lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, we bring to you our world, a world beset by pain and misery and in need of healing, which is clear to see and affects us all. Our world damaged with all its weaknesses, longings and failings, yet with all its potential and hope. We bring before you those in power whose authority and decisions affect the lives of many people and the health of our planet. We pray for the work, for the betterment, and for their work, for the betterment of mankind through sensitivity, honesty, and integrity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we pray for our community. May our homes, schools, and churches reflect and engender your values of mutual care, respect, integrity and forgiveness. Father, we pray for an increase in love for one another, that we may be better at recognising the needs and responding to them, that we may give more time to those we serve and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the quietness of our own hearts, we pray for those who ask sick in mind, body and spirit, who ask of our prayers but are only known to us. And we pray for those who ask of our prayers here gathered this morning. And we pray for Olivia Atkinson, Margaret Berman, Marjorie Gainsborough, Peter Gallagher, Elvina McNaughton, Peter Robinson, Jean Smith, Gary Williams, and Irene Wilson. Father, we pray with hope for the healing and restoration to homes for those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit. May they sense Christ close beside them, knowing his healing and resting in his love. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious hear we pray for those recently bereaved, bereaved, the family and friends of Evelyn Cranmer, Hazel Stubbly Black. May those who have died rise to new and eternal life, free from their earthly sufferings. Father, for those who have lost a loved one, give them inner strength and your unfailing love to support them in their time of need. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, thank you for providing always the encouragement and inspiration we need for the work you would have us do. We thank you that we can live in the joyful freedom of your love as we dedicate ourselves to serving others. Give us the grace to trust you, your, your world, sorry, for us, and walk boldly forward in your company. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. And so we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us rededicate ourselves to God. All through this week, our Father, help us to know you and to make you better by doing what pleases you 
and giving ourselves for the service of others. Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. And that as normal, if we can all come together and say the grace together, we can all hold down this. Are you coming, Brother Smith? Remain standing to sing our fourth hymn, one I like very much, King of Kings, Majesty.
shall be moved and the power of the gospel shall prevail for we know
Joy. 